What's going on, y'all? Welcome to day number 30. Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Yesterday, we had a really light, active recovery exercise routine because we came out of day number 28 with a huge, humongous intensity. And then yesterday, we turned it up. No, we turned it down with a active recovery. And today, y'all, we have actual stretching today yes we're going to continue improving our flexibility we're going to continue improving our range of motion we're going to continue improving our stability we're going to continue improving our mobility and we're going to continue improving our balance y'all so just like when we do in any of the other stretching exercises Flexibility, mobility, stability, and balance are four big major factors that we're going to continuously focus on in our program, y'all. But welcome to day number 30, y'all. Halfway there, halfway done. Congratulate yourself. Give it up, man. Give it up. Hey, y'all, before we get started, hey, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our channel and all of our Spark efforts. Um, also, head over to the website, y'all, to check out our uh, Spark products that can help you or be a great benefit to your health and wellness path. And also, check out our mission and vision. And we really hope that you contribute to that mission and vision because we're trying to build what's called a Spark community, y'all that's filled with so many benefits that a lot of people will definitely benefit from in the future. So contribute and we hope to see it come through soon. Hey y'all, we're gonna get right into the exercise warm up. Just like we do with any exercise, we have to do a proper warm up before we do our exercise. And exercise is also stretching. So get that spark water and we're about to get started y'all. Let's do it. Always remember, smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. If you don't get any other product, go and get your stainless steel spark bottle to stay reminded of your spark mentality and your goals as it relates to your unique spark lifestyle. All right? Let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Gonna take it a little a little uh, higher, uh, uh, higher intensity than what we were yesterday for day 29 to get that to get your body warmed and ready to find that new range of motion today, y'all. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, in three, two, one, let's go. Body should be loose, just a little bit loose, not too loose, but it should feel almost back to normal coming out of that active recovery yesterday. Three, two, one, jack it up. Three, two, one, squat, 
Oh yeah. Ooh, you should feel that. The body a little smooth up. In this first round, squat it out. Squat it out, y'all. We're gonna get more flexible today than yeah, we were in the past because we're constantly improving. In this 60 day transformation program, y'all. Y'all got this. In three, two, one, bring it up, twist that upper body, twist that upper body, one. taking our time in this first round, making sure our body gets back accustomed to those movements, three, two, one, here we go, walk it down, Shoulder touches, walk it up. Walk it down, shoulder touches, walk it up. Three, two, one, all shoulder touches, let's go. Let's go. Cross mountain climbers. Slow. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Back down. Step it down. muscles, contract your muscles. Slowly increase that level of intensity. Oh. You don't have to do it too hard, but do it enough where 
you're slightly uncomfortable. Three, two, one, straight jumps. Stomach muscles tight. Three, two, one, here we go. Shoulder touches, come on. Y'all got it. Three. Two, one, all push-ups, come on. Three, two, one, mount climb, come on. Straight mountain climbers, straight mountain climbers now. sprint but a little faster than the last round remember this is stretching day we're just trying to warm up and find a new range of motion
three, two, one, jack it out. Three, two, one, straight jacks. faster than the first round. Just slightly faster. Not too fast, but try to get deeper on the squats. Come up. Deeper, squat. Come up, you got it. In three, two, one. Keep getting deeper. Deep. 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 Great mountain climbers, go. Three, two, one, all push ups, go. Y'all body should be warm. It should be a little bit more looser. And you was probably able to do more than what you did yesterday because your body is have more recovery and repairment time coming out of yesterday's active recovery, okay? So get that water, y'all. Here to get into the stretch, finding that new range of motion, okay? This is smiles, pride, Patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. Be proud of being at day number 30. Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Get that water and we're going into our stretch, y'all. Active recovery into our stretch routine. We feel to improve our flexibility, 
mobility, stability, and balance in this exercise, y'all. So let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Get that water, come on. Stretch it out, stretch it out, get to your spot. There we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulder across the chest. We're not doing the detailed stretching yet. That's going to be for in a couple more minutes. This is our regular, normal range of motion, flexibility, stretching here. Normal stretching. Do not overdo it right now, okay? Well, never overdo it, but you know what I mean. Don't push past your normal range of motion yet. All right, bring it down. Other side. Shoulders. in this slot by now at the point of this program here you started at day one you know we practice keeping our head in this slot letting it relax on this particular stretch okay if you got to hold your head down that means you're stretching too hard all right bring it down other side that left or right foot, whichever one you start with is fine. Okay, stretch down. Lead with your chest, not your head. Walk it over, other side. Position, elbows between the knees, push those knees out. Contract your stomach muscles to stabilize your back. Remember how we talked about that? We talked about that about two or three days ago. The purpose of contracting your core, aka your stomach muscles. All right, palms to the ground, straighten the legs out, chin to the chest, roll up, roll up. Inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, and exhale. All right, y'all. All right. So we got about a uh, we got about two or three minutes before we start here. But as y'all know, um, uh, we have to make sure we give thanks to the man above for getting us through that warm up, and getting us halfway here and continuing to guide us the rest of the way, y'all, throughout this program and even beyond the program. So we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing without him. So let's bring God into it so that we're protected in this workout as well, all right? Dear God, thank you so much for everything that you've done to us. Thank you so much for getting us this far in the program and continuing to guide us um, throughout every single movement and breath that we take, um, God. Um, thank you so much for uh, just allowing us to have this platform together, the participant as well as myself, so that we are all staying um, encouraged and motivated as we continue getting younger through you, um, utilizing exercise. Um, we really appreciate and really want to just sit and make this time to give thanks to you for all of the strength and the and everything that we have that's allowing us to stay mobile and stable within our consistency with exercise, God. Uh, thank you so much for the um, encouragement and mentality that you are giving us through spark, uh, smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. 
and we understand that that is a vehicle that's unique to us and nobody else. Without comparing ourselves to others, we can only compare ourselves to where we want to be. Not who we used to be, but where we want to be, all right? So we look at our current self and to try to get to where we need to go as it relates to our goals and our efforts. So thank you, God, for giving us the strength to continuously apply efforts, to continuously stay mobile, and please protect us in this exercise, this stretching, to ensure that we um, uh, finish this workout with no strains, no unfavorable things that can act as a barrier to our uh, commitments. God, in your name we pray, continuing to con continue to guide my family, the viewers and participants' family, everybody's family, and I pray for Evolve Church as well, my pastor, uh, Ken as well, um, the, the uh, pastor's team, and everybody at Evolve Church. Um, if the viewer does not have a uh, church home, no, I hope that they understand that Evolve Church is also virtual, even if they're not in um, in the actual location. Um, they can log on virtually, just go and search Evolve. It's very easy to find and they will definitely, probably more than likely, 100%, I'm 100% confident that they will find a church home there. Uh, so put it in their hearts to find a church home through Evolve if they have not done so already. God, thank you so much for everything that you've done, that everything that you're doing for me. In your name we pray, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, here we go. We're about to get into it. I know that was a long prayer, but it was really on my heart to really try to connect with you guys and to make sure that you understand that we care about you here at uh, Spark and we want you to be connected to God if you're not connected to God. But we're going to get into the stretch. We are improving flexibility, stability, mobility, and our balance, y'all, once again in this stretching exercise. So let's do it, get that spark water and we're going, we're going, let's go. All right, y'all, get to your spot, get to your spot. Nothing too hard, but we know we probably got to push it past our normal range of motion. Here we go, here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Go we'll start with the arm across the chest. Normal stretching here. Hug yourself. We're not pushing it past our normal range of motion yet until I say so. We're gonna hold it for about six more seconds. And now go past your normal range of motion, go. Push it past, stretch it a little further till you feel the discomfort right there. Hold it and hold it, hold it. Inhale, exhale, slowly release it, slowly release it. Other side down, we're finding a new range of motion, y'all. Hug yourself, normal, normal stretching here. Five more seconds, we're going. And go. Pass the normal range of motion. You should feel it. You should feel it. When you feel it, go. Stop right there. It should not hurt. It should only feel a little discomfort. Just a little discomfort. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly, slowly. All right. Bring one arm up behind your head now. Normal stretching. Let your body become accustomed to the normal stretching motion. Let the head relax. Six seconds. We're going to push it further down. Further down. Let me turn to you so you can see. Here we go. We're going to go further down now. In three, two, one. Go down. 
Oh, look at this. I was not able to touch back here before, so that's how I know that my flexibility is getting great and my, no and my range of motion is improving. Inhale, exhale. Hope y'all can see that. <laughs> Other arm up. Normal range of motion. Normal range of motion, just stretch it. And I'm gonna push it a little farther than before. Here we go, inhale, exhale. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Oh, right there. Don't drop your head too hard. I was not able to touch right here before, guys, so that's improvement. That's very much improvement in my range of motion. Inhale, exhale, slowly bring it down. All right, so I showed you guys that, and now we're going into some uh, oblique stretching here. Obliques, we gotta stretch that out. If we continue working, we don't want that to be too tight as we go through the program. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, one arm up, inhale, take one and stretch it over, take this hand and just let it relax, okay? You're finding your normal range of motion and when you feel it, that's why I want you to stop. And your obliques, I want you to stop. Try to poke that hip out a little bit, yes. In three, two, one, new range of motion, let's go. Ah, yeah, right there, hold it. Remember, this should not hurt. It should only feel uncomfortable, just slightly uncomfortable in your normal range of motion. Don't hold yourself up with this hand. Let that hand relax. Keep stretching it. A new range of motion that we're finding here. Here we go, inhale, exhale. Other side, here we go, inhale. Exhale, here we go. Feet shoulder width apart, inhale. Stretch it over to the other side. Get them obliques, yes. Stop right there, let that hand relax. Feel the blood flow coming right back to those fingertips. Yeah, feels great. That feels great. Three seconds. Inhale, exhale, new range of motion. Find it, find it, find it, yes. Right there, new flexibility, still proper form in this movement, but we are getting stronger through our stretch, y'all. You should feel amazing right now. Oh my goodness, new range of motion, new flexibility, new stability. We maintaining our balance and everything. Feeling more stable and grounded, yes. All right, inhale. Exhale. Let that blood come back down to that arm. Here we go, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna bring the hands up, go into a flat back now, go into that flat back, okay? Arms stay aligned with your head, your back is aligned with your head, and we're looking to that ground with our stomach muscles tight. Straighten the legs out, walk it over to your left or your right. Grab the back of your leg, okay? If you can grab the heel of your shoe, great too, but do not slam your head down, okay? Lead with your chest, not your head. Three seconds, we're finding a new range of motion. In three, two, one, stretch it down, go, go, go. When you feel that discomfort, stop. And 
inhale, exhale, walk it to the other side. Same thing, hands behind that heel or your leg, whichever you have to do, okay? If you have to come up like this, that's fine too, okay? Go to your normal range of motion right now. The extra push is coming right here in three, two, one, lead with your chest, not your head, and go. When you feel that discomfort, stop. Drop that hip to the floor. Okay, we're gonna find a new range coming up. Three, two, one. Drop that hip lower, lower. Push your body towards your foot a little bit. Keep the knee behind the toe. Just a little bit, that's okay, that's okay. But do not allow yourself to be hurting in this position. If you're hurting, you need to come up a little bit, all right? Take it down, inhale, exhale, hold it right here. Walk it to the center, give me a squat. Elbows between the knees, pushing those uh, legs out towards the side of your room or your garage, wherever it is that you are at. Push those elbows out. Five seconds, we're gonna find a new uh, range of motion in these uh, hip openers. In three, two, one. Open those hips wider. Ah, right there, hold it, hold it. When you start saying, ah, that's where you wanna hold it at, okay? If you say ah, that's where I want you to hold it. But it should not be the ah where it's hurting you, okay? Only a little uncomfortable. 10 seconds. Sit down behind them heels in three, two, one. Relax, palm to the ground, straighten the legs out, chin to the chest, roll up, roll up. All right, y'all, we're gonna bring the legs up now. This is our balance, remember? Hold it, hold it. I got it. Keep that leg up, keep that leg up. If you have to go here, you go like this to have some balance, but challenge yourself a little bit to get a little uncomfortable because we're going longer than what we've done in the past, okay? Contract your stomach muscles, you got this. Point your toe towards you. Don't let your toe relax. Point it towards the floor, point it towards you in three, 
two, one, bring it down. Other side up. Point your toe towards you and bring that leg up and just hold it. Hold it. You got it. You got it. Stomach muscles tight. Get that leg up. 10 seconds. In three, two, one, bring that leg down. Leg goes up one more time. Let's go. Last one. Last set. Ten seconds. Get that knee up higher. Get it up higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Other leg up. Let's go. Contract your muscles, your stomach muscles. Dig your bottom foot into the ground for more improved stability and balance. Ten seconds, get the knee up higher, knee up higher, come on. High as you can go, high as you can go. Three, two, and one. All right, y'all, shake it out, shake it out. All right, bring it down, inhale. Exhale. Bring your feet all the way together. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale, great job, one more, inhale, and exhale. Hold it at the bottom, give me three regular inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Hey, great job today, y'all. Great job. That is your uh, stretch for the day. Hope you're finding a new range of emotion. Hoping your balance is improving, your stability, and your flexibility. So keep it up. Y'all, listen to me just real quick. It's very important now that we're halfway through the program. It's very, very crucial and important to understand that there's going to be a fight with fatigue, with procrastination, with uh the desire to want to keep going it's going to be a procrastination with it's going to be a challenge with uh any barrier that can try to get in your way to stop you from doing what it is that you're doing throughout this program and that's being consistent okay it's very important to understand that you need to know that so that you can mentally prepare for it okay there's going to be things where you'll be like, oh, I really don't have time today. Oh, I work late today, so I'll just do it tomorrow. No, just like you've been doing for the last 30 days, the last 30 days, okay? You haven't been letting anything get in your way. You know, God forbid, hopefully there's not an emergency that comes up, you know, but you are doing a great job. And just understand that as you continue to invest time and energy into yourself, into your health and wellness, there's going to be something that's going to try to stop you from doing it, right? So try to set yourself up mentally for that, to try to prepare for that, you know, especially the ones that, um, the uh, barriers that don't really need attention. Now, if you have a barrier that needs attention, by all means, yes, you have to do what it is you have to do. I'm not telling you to just put things to the side if it's very important to attend to. But I'm telling you, if you know that you can do something and you feel that you are making an excuse to not do something, continue doing what you're doing. Don't let anything get in the way. One of our rules here with Spark in the Spark community is if you're driven, you will do. If not, you will make an excuse. Okay? 
If you're driven, you're gonna find a way to get it done. You're gonna find a way to stay consistent. You're gonna find a way to keep on doing what it is that you're doing for yourself, no matter what, regardless of what any minuscule thing to try to get in your way. If you're not driven, you're gonna make an excuse to not do it. Let's not make excuses, y'all. We got 30 more days. We got 30 more days. Come on, you halfway there. Let's keep going. You got this. I believe in you, and I'm so excited to be here with you, all right? Hey, y'all, check out their website. Check out your Spark products, and go contribute to the mission and vision, y'all. We're building a Spark community that includes you, all right? Love you guys. Spark stands for smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. See y'all tomorrow for day number 31. Let's go. Let's go. Love y'all. Peace.